Hello to the, to the few people who might be watching this. This is a quick uh, little announcement to say that if this video managed to get, manages to get, uh, let's say like 250 likes, all right, and 25 new subscribers, I will start the Loud House revamped audiobook, which is just me reading the Loud House revamped from start to finish over the course of a lot of videos. It's gonna it's gonna take a lot of videos. No edits, nothing fancy. I will not be putting that much effort into it other than, you know, dedicating an amount of time to reading. So yeah, if you're interested in that, then 250 likes, 25 subscribers. Something like that. Make sure to enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and so Whoa. 2,000 views? I didn't think people would be that interested. That means if I make 10 more of these videos, that would be... 2 million views. The real question is, though, would people still want to see them? I mean, the first video was kind of good quality. Would they really be interested in... Oh, hold on. What's this do? It's probably nothing. Would people still be interested? I'll have to just try and see if they like it. Well, we're doing another one! Thank you. Thank you. Quiet down. Now, I know many of, of, of our fans have been waiting for a sequel to this masterpiece of a video. And by popular quest, I've even decided to include Ethan. Yep, that's right. The other half of the Gamer YouTube channel. He's here with us right now, helping me record. Go ahead, Ethan. Go ahead. Say, say something, Ethan. Since, yeah, you know, you, you're begging me to, to include you in this next video. <clears throat> Cold blimey, mate. I sure do love making these videos with you. Yeah, he's not going to say anything for the rest of the video. Now, if you're anything like me, then you might be autistic. Which is like, like it's, it's amazing. It's like having a superpower, right? But my superpower is plausible deniability. I might be autistic, or I might just be like a normal guy. A normal guy who's got like, just, who's smart and intelligent and funny and like conventionally attractive, I would say. Um, what was I going with this? Autistic people, they have their own superpower, which is to, to be scary. I have genuine fear over the, the things they can do. And, and if the autism spectrum was actually a power scale, then James Dean would be the fucking Saitama of autistic people. Now, the first video that I made about Mr. James Dean's uh, masterpiece focused more so on the idea of it. You know, like, oh, wow, look at this Loud House fanfic. Look at how long it is. Look at all the, 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 the crazy characters that show up. Because, like, anyone can give you, like, a, a roster. Like, oh, wow, in this, uh, in this story, um, Jar Jar Binks, um, Spider-Man, and Emmett from the Lego movie team up. And that's crazy, but how, what do they do? What do they do? But now I want to look into some of the, the crazier aspects, the, the, the weird storytelling and the random fucking plot points that James Dean goes into. For instance, what if, uh, um, what if Jar Jar and Emmett and Spider-Man uh, go hunting for Atlantis? Or go up into space to, um, you know, fight off aliens. Or, or maybe they, they go to a used car lot and get sold a crappy car by some silver-tongued businessman. Or maybe they go on a sexcapade across northeastern Europe, riding around in the Death Star and picking up gay men with the line, Hey, they're good-looking. Ever been blown to, like, literally dust to death? Killed by a giant orbital laser? And it always works um yeah i'm gonna get to the reading okay so the first thing i'd like to focus on is um to put it bluntly james dean's opinion of the show family guy put into writing so <clears throat> let's get started 
Suddenly, I get a call on my cell phone. Me, James Dean, answers. Hello? Keith, on the phone. <laughs> JD, it's Keith. Me, what's up, man? Keith, we just got all the children out of Quahog, and, and there are some people here that want no invol involvement in James Wood's plot. James Wood's plot's here. Okay, that's bad grammar. Me, that's great, Keith. Has Quahog been destroyed? Keith, all the buildings are on fire, and all the evil people are dead. Chris, Peter, and Lois Griffin are being transported to Royal York as we speak. Me, excellent. Did you leave James Wood alive? James Woods alive for us? Keith, we sure did, JD. He's <laughs> all yours. Cause you know, just fuck James Woods, I guess. Uh, me, excellent. James, uh, we're on our way. Hangs up. All right, guys, <laughs> time to destroy Quahog. Let's move. Lincoln. It's time to put Operation Destroy Quahog and rid the world of another corrupted town that was doomed from the start and think of a shorter name for this operation into action. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's humor. Me, how about Operation Quahog's Destruction? Lincoln, that's perfect. Mm, mm, mm. Anyways, Stewie, Jade, what? JD, thank you for helping us destroy that menace of a, t what? Stewie Griffin, yes, uh, whatever. Um, me. No problem, Stewie. This town deserves to be damned. <laughs> very, very, whoever that is. It sure does. Rachel, so how are we going to destroy Quahog? Me. We're going to place Moab bomb. Moab? <laughs> the mother of all bombs. <laughs> is a large non-nuclear, because, you know, they're so, they're so, uh, merciful, weapon develop... <laughs> Dear Lord, okay, well, I was thinking it was the balloons tower defense thing, never mind. Um, at the cardinal points of the city, and a 50 me and a 50 megaton Moab bomb at the s in the center of the city. Ven- Venom! I'm sorry, what? What's ven <laughs> That's perfect, we will help you in any way we can, JD. <laughs> Thanks, Venom. <laughs> Get ready, Quahog, Rhode Island. Your final hour has come. Okay, I'm not sure how big Quahog is, but I know how big, uh, Rhode Island is. And I feel like, well, I don't know how big a Moab is, but you might just straight up destroy all of, you know, you know what? Who cares? Let's get to work. Stewie, you, Penelope, and Venom. <laughs> what a cast. We'll place the first bomb at the abandoned James Woods Regional High School. Brian Viku William, you will, right. Place the second bomb at Parteket Puri. Anna Zian Sora. Hey, Stewie, knock, knock. Stewie, come on, Venom. I know this joke already. What? It's a knock-knock. Well, sure, you know the... F what do you mean? You know... It's a knock-knock joke! -knock Who's there? Your pal, Venom. Who's always gonna be watching your back. You got that from... You got that from me and Brian, didn't you? Yes, yes we did. That was a good one. All right, fan out. That wasn't a good one. They split up and got everything right. Stewie pins a goon to the ground. He's a baby! I bet you didn't expect a baby. Well, yeah, see? To be the one to kill you, goon. Stewie Griffin?! Ding ding. You're looking as handsome as ever. Flatter <laughs> flattery will get you nowhere, isn't whatever. This is not going to end well for me, is it? This is not gonna end well for you, no. Where's your boss? I can tell you exactly. Shuts him up. Oh, you'll tell me, but first to Venom and Penelope. You team you two may want to look away from this. <laughs> Stewie, you saw me kill people before. I won't mind what I'm about to see. And we've killed before changing our ways. We can handle it. Okay, but I warned you, to the goon. Now this little piggy went to the goon sc Oh, this is, this is disturbing. Shot him with a pistol. He's over at City Hall and he's waiting for you all. It's James Woods and he's really upset that you all ruined everything here in Quahog. Grabs another goon by the stone. It's happening. It's happening again. What, what kind of an afraid person spits in the face of a person he's afraid of? If, if, if Venom picked me up, I'd piss my pants. I wouldn't... Sp no, no, that's called a, a determined, a, a, a valiant, um, um, loyal person. You fucking idiot. A goon crawled across the ice rink, leaving a trail of his own blood behind him. Uh, wait. Uh, you're about to be killed by a Zamboni. Now, isn't that a Deadpool reference? Now, uh, now tell me where your censored boss is. I can only assume that means freaking. Or you're gonna die. Notice how slow the Zamboni was going. In five minutes. You, you stole that! <laughs> 
All right, once it's armed, there's no way to stop it. I pressed the green button and it was counting down. It's armed, set, and ready. Let's go! We went out of we went out of the building and saw James Woods and his goons ready to fight. Me, James Woods. I saw all your movies and I thought you were great. James, I'm glad I still have some fans. Very very? Vary? Whatever. Why are you doing this, James? You do what are you You're the one blowing up a whole sick town, you fucking maniacs! Why? I'll tell you why. I want revenge on Peter Griffin and his family for everything they did to me. Uh-oh, I just saw something troubling. Peter took everything from me. He had ruined my career and my life, so I decided to get revenge on him by hypnotizing him. Oh, it was easy. I used subli subliminal measures? I planted this record in his bathroom and played it while they slept. Go ahead, listen. Uh, record, James Wood, James Woods Im imitating Peter and Lois. I will blue abuse my family viciously. <gasps> so that's it! You framed Peter and Lois for this horrible atro atrocity, and you knew that we would be called out here to arrest them and bring them to jail? You set this whole thing up so that we would cut, put Peter, Lois, and Chris in prison Well, Chris... Whatever. In prison for your crimes, and they would take the fall for it, even though their records show that they've been doing it for 18 years? You intensified their- Oh, so they're not entirely- Oh, cool. Awesome. You intensified their abuse of nature and ruined Meg, Stewie, and Brian's lives? Meg, you bitch. We engaged in a deadly fist fight, and I punch James Dean in the face, and he punches me, but I dodge, and I kick him in the stomach, and punch him in the mouth, and knock out some of his teeth. The fight gets really intense, as his sanity starts getting destroyed as it rages on. Uh, Lynn. Let's help him. Lynn pulls out a blanket. Her- Hercules? Hi, you- It's Hercules! He's fucking Hercules! If you have Hercules in the fight, just use Hercules to fucking- Rip him apart and kill me. It's so easy. Uh, Hercules. Oh, I see you're about. I see what you're about to do, Lynn. Let's go. Link and Lana, uh, and Laney took the blanket and draped it over James Dean as I got out. They held down the blanket. Oh fuck me. Lynn. Hey James Woods. What's more fun than a Canadian microwave? James. I don't know what. Lynn. A Dutch oven fart. Lynn released a big fart and James was screaming. He smoked the guys. James was puking his guts out after they pulled the blanket away, laughing our butts off at him. Oh man, that was funny. James got up and he saw that we vanished. He went into the city hall and he found our bomb. He looked at the time and saw five seconds left. He realized that his death was now. Oh crud. When the timer hit zero, the bombs exploded with incredible power. Crab boom. The entirety of Quahog was completely obliterated in a massive and powerful explosion that wiped and wiped off the uh, off the map forever. The blast from the explosion was so powerful that it could be heard all the way from New York City. The mushroom cloud could be seen all the way from Boston. And that was just the destruction of Quahog. Obviously, it doesn't end here. So we're gonna humiliate the Griffins for the pain and suffering they caused to Meg, Stewie, and Brian? Lapis, from I can only assume, uh, the Crystal Gems, Steven Universe. That's right, Proyas, whatever, we're gonna humiliate them back to the Stone Age for the rest of their lives, whatever that means. Lincoln, it's always fun to humiliate the Griffins. Laney, you said it. Lana, oh yeah, Lois. <laughs> Lapis, Lincoln, Laney, Lana, Lois. You all had no right to destroy Quahog. Good point. Lana, actually we did. We weren't going to allow a corrupt town to keep existing. Bad point. Lois laughs bitterly. That's just the problem with all of you. You could have just gotten me and Peter arrested and just left it at that. But no, you all decided to play God and destroy Quahog along with everyone else in it. Good point. You only have yourselves to blame. You were the ones who abused Meg and made, all the, <laughs> made the lives of all the people, made the lives of the good people in Quahog a living nightmare. And that makes you no better than, than Chandler and the Sinister Six except for Sandman. Okay. Lois, you really want to talk to me about the Sinister Six? When you and your family killed Vulture, Electro, Hydro Man, Mis and Mysterio instead of taking them to prison? Good point! Lana, Tombs, Dylan, Dillian, Bench, and Beck. Who are these people? We're going to help Paul kill Spidey, MJ, Black Cat, and Venom. And they also caused so much death and suffering in the past. We had to make sure they didn't hurt anyone else. 
What did you think was going to happen? Lois, I think you and your friends leave trails of bodies wherever you go. Good point. Sure, you've all made the world a better place. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, sure. But what comfort is it that Zoe Lawton, whose father was killed by your twin sister Lana, takes it? Oh, this is serious. Lana takes a deep breath before looking Lois in the eye. Well, at least our trails of bodies don't include abuse to children, you horrible man. You think? Yeah, well, the, the children aren't dead. That made Lois snap. She punched Lana in the face. Lana was shocked before she ended up punching Lois back. She viciously pulverized Lois and made her a mess. Ooh, okay. Lana, no one attacks me and gets away with it. I, I guess. Well said, Lana. Is it? But let's, but let's cut to the humiliation spree. Uh-oh. Yeah. Griffin, you bought this all you bought all this on yourselves. I spin my magic sword bracelet. Let's see how you like having gum in your hair. Okay. Wad of gum magic sword. I fired some wads of gum into the hair into their hair and it made them really sticky. Peter, oh gross. A B oh, <laughs> oh gross. A B C gum? I don't know. I can't do it, Peter. Cactus magic sword! These prickle these prickles pack a punch. Uh, I jumped behind Lois and fired a cactus ball at Lois, and it hit her in the butt, and she screamed in pain. Yowch! Cheese magic sword, nacho cheese drench, a torrent of nacho cheese sauce drenched Lois from head to toe. Dolphin magic sword, ready, ready my baby girl. Dolphin chirps. Dolphin magic sword fires a stream of water and drenched Lois from head to toe in water. You wretched brats! You are just as bad as those censored metahumans when you destroyed Kohog. Carol grabs Lois by the throat. Okay, back to back to little dark. Just so you know, my little sister Maria helped in Kohog's destruction. So you're insulting her and those are my friends who helped do the world a favor by getting rid of your former town. Lois cruelly. Then maybe your little sister should have been locked. Should be locked up uh, along with Hot Streak and the rest of her metabred teammates. Oh, she did not just go there. Maria says, Carol, let her go. She's not worth it. She's got enough stuff. She's got... <laughs> That's un... Uh, uncharacteristically uh, merciful of you. God, I sure do love these... These heroes of our story. Torturing... Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. Humiliating Peter and Lois. After, you know, destroying their town and all the... Killing a bunch of people they knew and... James Woods also, I guess. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I haven't read... Uh... All of the prior chapters. So maybe I am missing some important details. But we're not done yet. Whoa, <laughs> no, no, no. We arrived in the city square and got the humiliation underway. Me. Before we start, Peter, would you like a beer? Oh, I could use a beer. <laughs> I can't... God, I can't do Peter Griffin. Thank you. Me, you're welcome. I pour him a glass and give it to him, and he drank it. Okay. The loud, the loud kids were snickering. <laughs> ah, I needed that. Suddenly, Peter got drunk, big time. Okay, Peter, put this on. Peter slurred. Okay. Uh, okay. He put on a pink tutu and ballerina costume. Oh, for the love, like you can't keep switching. You know, you can't go from killing the goons in uh, uh, in Kohog to giving James Woods a Dutch oven, to blowing up Kohawk and killing all the people in it, then using fucking magic swords to, to do co comedic torture, we'll call that, on the Griffins, and then, uh, and then, oh yeah, now we're gonna give, give Peter Griffin a beer, and he's gonna drink it, and he's gonna act like an idiot, like a drunk idiot, and then we're gonna go back to, like, ripping out his tendons, and, and, and tying his, his, uh, uh, shoelaces together, and then, and then we're gonna fire a nuclear warhead into his son. Kevin took a special chain and tied it to Peter's teeth, and the chain on the other end was tied to his bike. Me, in my head. Oh, I see what he's gonna do. He's gonna yank all of his teeth out. Oh, clever. Yep, very clever. Not at all crazy. Let's see how you like talking without teeth, you fart face. Ha ha ha. He gunned it and chain pulled all his teeth out and he screamed in pain. Brian sees Kevin use his bike to yank out Peter's teeth. Heck yeah, that's how it feels. What? Sarah punches Lois in the stomach. How do you feel? Mighty Lois punches her again. Not so mighty now, are you? Wait, that has to hurt. It sure does. 
This is not gonna feel good. I hope his prison money provides him with dental insurance. I walk up to him and pull out a mirror, and Peter saw that his teeth were gone, and he had blood coming out of his mouth. My teeth... Ugh. God, that's fucking disturbing. Lois coughs. You all haven't really changed, have you? You're all those same bullies that have tormented the Eds all those years ago. What? Wait, Ed, Ed, and Eddie? I can't imagine any, any other kinds of Eds. Sarah says... You abusing Meg isn't the only crime that you did to Lois. You shoplifted stuff and stores <laughs> once, and instead of facing <laughs> and instead of facing justice, you decided to escape to Asian Town. To Peter, you don't even uh, get and don't even get me started on you. You forced Stewie to do a commercial, and for heaven's that was both of them, you idiot, whatever. And for heaven's sake, you even gave him drugs to keep him going. You didn't even care about how sick he was getting, and the worst part, you used Stewie's money earned for his planned college fund for yourselves instead. So of course you deserve to have your entire town destroyed, and, you and you're fucking tortured endlessly. You shoplifted once, and abused your baby. I mean, sure, the, the, the baby abuse is definitely, at the very least, a little bit more understandable. But you can't seriously write, oh, you shoplifted once, and not see, like, the, the insanity behind that. We've been punished enough. So, and then he gets cut off. Are you kidding me? The way Plank sees it, Johnny, Plank. Okay, so it is from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. If you two haven't been punished enough, and I agree with him. Eddie, you tell them, guys. You fucking stupid. Sarah grabbed Peter and Lois by their underwear and pulled them way up and gave them huge wedgies and they screamed in pain. It's, it's again, it's again. You just ripped out all of Peter's teeth and now you're giving him a wedgie. These are, this is not, it's, it's like whiplash going from like genuinely disturbed to, you know, just a little goofy. We fired hot sauce into Lois's mouth. I'm allergic to hot sauce. Well, that would kill her. It, that's not just any hot sauce, Lois. It's made from the capsaicin uh, extract from the hottest peppers on the planet. Oh no. Lois not only swelled up due to, uh -oh, due to an allergic reaction, but she screamed and a massive burst of fire exploded from her mouth, eyes, and ears. And it made them stronger? And now we're back to Ger George and Harold. Oh God! Oh God! Okay, okay. I thought they were, I, I thought it was gonna be worse. <clears throat> what are those hoses for, Harold? It's for that. Harold pointed to a septic tank, which, for those who don't know, that's basically where all your poop and pee goes when you flush a toilet. Me. Oh yeah. Plug your noses, everyone. We pulled out nose plugs and put them on. And George and Harold, Harold fired raw sewage at Lois and drenched her in unmentionable crud. Everyone, ew, I, I thought it was going to be worse. I'll be honest. We slammed a trash can full of garbage onto Lois. Like, why is it Lois so much? Sarah punched Peter in the face and gave him a bloody nose. You are one sick girl, you know that? People like you have no long, have no love for anyone but yourself, and you are a rotten, and you are a rotten to the core, selfish little girl. With no love for anyone, you should have been sent to juvenile hall for beating up your brother. Charged toward Peter and jumped on him and savagely and ferociously beat him up. Jimmy mercilessly thrashed Peter for ten whole minutes in dust cloud. And the ground was shaking under the sheer magnitude. <laughs> Peter was beaten, beaten up to within an inch of his life. He looked like he lost a fight with an army of crazed superheroes. Jimmy was shocked at what he did to Peter. Unbelievable! Jimmy mercilessly destroyed him. Okay, I. This isn't okay. We're still not done, by the way. So I'm gonna have to skip, there's a lot here. A massive fart, fart. The fart was so loud that it broke the sound barrier and sent transits to the galaxy. What the hell? All over the street, vomited. Captain Underpants is here now. Fucking, okay, me. Welcome to hell, griffins. No, that's bad grammar. If you're referring to both Peter and Lois, then it will just be griffins without an apostrophe. Fucking idiot. Anyways, uh. And I promise it's gonna hurt really bad. Cracks, knuckles, rubber band man. Let us let me start us off. He starts high up into the sky. He's like, uh, became an anvil. He landed on Peter's head, playing. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Where's the leak, ma'am? What? This is just wrong. She got behind Lois and formed a whip made of red energy. 
How many lashes, JD? 18. One for each of the years Meg was abused. Lana pulled out some garbage bombs and set, a, and set the timer for five seconds. Let's see how... Let's you get a whiff of this. She armed the bombs and exploded. Kaboom. Completely covered in... Gross puke. Sonic blast and amp. Make it stop. Make it stop. Oh, yeah. Now they're having them beg for mercy. Like, just... It's not right, dude. You're not the good guys. This is horrible, horrible treatment. I don't care if it's technically justified. Uh, a, a person, a genuinely good person, would just let it go. They got their just desserts by being put into prison. You went the extra mile abusing your power and proving that you're like literally a sociopath by blowing up a town and then torturing them uh, every so often. It's just insane. Who? In short, uh, yeah, James Dean blows up Quahog and uh, mercilessly tortures Peter and Lois Griffin.